Welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video, we're going to look at examples involving circles in the coordinate plane. And just to review, when we're talking about circles in the coordinate plane, standard form would be x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared, where x, y is any point on the circle, is any point on the circle. HK is the center of the circle. And R is the radius of the circle. Okay, so those are the things that we really want to deal with. Uh, we need to know the two pieces of information, the center of the circle and the radius, in order to be able to write these equations in standard form. So first, we're given a graph of a circle. We want to write the equation in standard form. So we need two pieces of information. We need to identify the center, and we need to identify the radius. So the center looks like that's the point labeled A, and that would be negative 4, negative 2. And the radius, so we can determine the radius by counting to the edge, going either up, down, left, or right. So if I go to the right, that's 1, 2, 3. So it appears the radius is 3. Now we're going to plug this into that standard form of a circle uh, formula. That would be x minus negative 4 would be x plus 4 quantity squared, plus y minus negative 2 would be y plus 2 quantity squared, equals radius squared. We do want to go ahead and square the radius, so we're going to clean this up just one more time. We're going to say x plus 4 squared plus y plus 2 squared is equal to 9. Okay, in our next two examples, we're given the equations. We need to determine the center and the radius of the circle, and then we're going to sketch the graph. So here in example A, it looks like the, the uh, center of the circle so that would be hk, it would be 5, comma, 2. And then the radius, so the radius squared is equal to 4. To get r by itself, we would take the square root of both sides. That means r is either positive or negative 2. But because this is a radius, it must be positive, so we don't even have to think about the negative 2. We can just say the radius is 2. So that was the two pieces of information to ask for, the center and the radius. Now it does ask us to sketch a graph. And if you can't tell by my horrendous handwriting, I imagine my circles are not going to be much better. But we can at least start with the center, 5, 2. And then from here, use the radius to find the four points that are uh, really nice to find because you can just go straight up 2. You can go straight to the right 2, down 2, and to the left 2. And then just do the best you can to connect those. Whoops, I missed one point, but we can see what the circle approximately looks like. Okay, an example B. The center of the circle, so hk, since there's nothing being subtracted by x, if we're talking about addition or subtraction, there's, since there's nothing being subtracted, we represent nothing with a 0. So it would be 0, and then this would be negative 3. The radius of the circle, the radius squared, is 25. So the radius would be the square root of 25, which is 5. Okay, to graph this one, 0, negative 3, we would go down 3 on the y-axis. And then again, to, I would plug in the plot the five, the four points that we can quickly determine. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, down five. And we'll do the best we can uh, to make a nice circle out of these four points. Wow, that was pretty good. Go me. Okay, now for the next examples, we're going to write the equation of the circle based on the information we're given. So whatever information we're given, we hopefully are able to determine the center of the circle and the radius of the circle with what we're given. Here we're given both, so we can just plug these right in. Since the center is 9, negative 4, we can say that's h and k. The radius is 6, and so that what we need for the equation is r squared. r squared would be 6 squared, which would be 36. So when we plug this in to x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared, we're going to get x minus 9 squared plus y plus 4, because it would be minus negative, which becomes plus, equals 
6 squared, which is 36. So this would be the equation in all its glory. In example B, we are again given the center, so we know what h and k are. And we know the radius is 3 root 2, so the other piece for the equation we need is radius squared, which would be 3 root 2, quantity squared. We distribute the exponent to the two factors. 3 squared is 9, the square root of 2 squared is 2, so radius squared is 18. Now we can plug this in. x minus h would be minus negative 5, so that becomes plus 5 plus y minus negative 2 would become plus 2 quantity squared equals r squared 18. In this example, we're given the center and we're told that one point on the circle is 7, negative 2. So there's two ways that we can determine uh, what the r or r squared value is. One thing we can do is we can just plug right into x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So here's what we can do. We label the center. The center will always be hk. And one point on the circle, which is all we need, we're going to call x and y. And we're going to plug in for hk, x, and y, and that's going to help us determine the value of r squared. We, in fact, don't even need to know the radius. We just need to know r squared. So as soon as we know r squared and we have the center given to us, we're ready to write the equation. So this would be 7 minus 3 squared plus y is negative 2 minus 4 squared equals radius squared. 7 minus 3 is 4, so 4 squared, plus negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6 squared equals radius squared. 4 squared is 16, negative 6 quantity squared is 36, so we end up with 52 equals r squared. And we don't need to take the square root because in the formula we only need r squared. So now we have r squared we're ready to write the equation of the circle. It's going to be x, we go back to x and y, so to represent all points on the circle, x minus 3 squared plus y minus 4 squared equals 52 will be the equation of that circle. In this example, we're again, we're given the center, so that's our hk, and we're told one point on this circle, which we'll call x and y, is negative 5, negative 3. So we'll use that same technique. We're going to plug in to the formula for a circle, which looks like this, to determine our r squared. We already have the center. We just need to know what r squared is. So we're going to say negative 5 minus 2 squared plus negative 3 minus negative 7 becomes plus 7 squared. And r squared is our unknown. Negative 5 minus 2 is negative 7, so negative 7 squared. Negative 3 plus 7 is 4. That gives me 4 squared equals r squared. Negative 7 quantity squared is 49. 4 squared is 16. And 49 plus 16 is 65. Again, we don't care necessarily what the radius is. It doesn't ask for that. We just need to know r squared. Now that we know r squared and we know the center, we're going to plug back in, putting x and y back into it. So x minus 2 quantity squared plus y minus negative 7 becomes plus 7 quantity squared equals 65. And there's the equation of this circle. In our last two examples, we're given endpoints. So we know two endpoints of a diameter are negative 4, negative 6, and negative 10, 0. In this case, these are both x's and y's. We're not given the center, so we don't have an hk. That's unfortunate, but luckily, what we do know is that if we have two endpoints of a diameter, the point that's exactly halfway between them, also called the midpoint, is the center of the circle. So to figure out the coordinates of the center, that just means we need to calculate the coordinates of the midpoint, since they're going to be the same value. And to calculate the midpoint, we would add up the two x values, so negative 4 plus negative 10, and we divide that by 2. We do the same thing with the y values, negative 6 plus 0 divided by 2. Cleaning this up, negative 4 plus negative 10 is negative 14 over 2. Negative 6 plus 0 is negative 6 over 2. And negative 14 divided by 2 is negative 7. Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. Okay, so now we have hk. So we know that hk, the center of the circle, is located at negative 7, negative 3. We can use the same technique to help us calculate uh, 
the R squared. So you can pick one of the two ordered pairs. I like that this one has a zero in it, so I'm gonna use this as my XY, but you should end up with the same R squared if you use negative four, negative six. And if you don't, we're in big trouble because then we didn't actually find the midpoint of this circle. So we're gonna plug in. It's gonna be X negative 10 minus H, which will become plus seven minus negative becomes plus. Quantity squared plus Y zero minus negative three, it would be plus three quantity squared. We're trying to determine R squared. Negative 10 plus seven is negative three, so it's negative three quantity squared. Plus here we have three quantity squared equals R squared. Both negative three squared and three squared are nine, so we get nine plus nine is R squared, and therefore 18 is R squared. Now we have our R squared, we have our center up here, so we can write the equation of the circle. It's gonna be X plus seven squared plus Y plus three squared equals 18. And last but not least, looking again at two endpoints of a diameter. So the center of the circle would be found by finding the midpoint between these two endpoints of a diameter. If we were told just two endpoints of a chord, we wouldn't be able to do this, but since it's specifically the uh, diameter, that means that exactly halfway between them will be the midpoint and the center of the circle. So when we plug in, we're gonna add up the X coordinates, that's 12 plus seven and divide by two, and negative three plus two and divide by two. 12 plus seven is 19, so that's 19 divided by two. Negative three plus two is negative one, negative one over two. I'm going to leave it like that. It doesn't matter if you want to convert them to mixed numbers or decimals, that's fine. I'm going to leave them like this because I feel like uh, coming up I'm going to not want the mixed number anyway. Decimals are fine. Okay, so now I have the center. Yay! That means that I now know my H and K. I'm going to choose which ordered pair looks less horrendous. I guess this one because there's no double digit numbers and no negatives, so win-win. And we're going to plug into the formula for circle, X7, minus the center, 19 over two, quantity squared, plus y2, minus negative becomes plus one half, equals r squared. Seven minus 19 over two, so I need to probably convert seven into a fraction, that would be seven over one. Then the common denominator between one and two would be two, so that would become 14 over two minus 19 over two. And then here, Oops, I forgot to square that, there we go. Uh, two over one would become four over two if we multiply by two over two. Squared equals R squared. Now I'm ready to subtract and add inside the parentheses. 14 halves minus 19 half. sorry, 14 over two minus 19 over two would be negative five over two, quantity squared. And four over two plus one over two would be positive five over two, quantity squared equals R squared. Okay, in the home stretch here, now we're ready to square these. Negative five halves squared and five halves squared end up being the same value. They both end up being 25 over four. So we end up with 25 over four plus 25 over four equals R squared. That would be 50 over four, which we can simplify to 25 over two equals R squared. And again, if you wanna to convert to a decimal or a mixed number, totally fine. I prefer just keeping the, the fractions improper. Now we have the R squared. We have the center of the circle. We're ready to write the equation. It would be X minus 19 over two or nine and a half or 9.5 quantity squared plus Y plus one half quantity squared equals 25 over two. And there we have our final equation.